I need new piston rings. I need some new snow tires. My car is held together by a piece of chicken wire. Oh, rust and... Just to let you guys know, I'm going to be throwing shade this whole fucking video. So don't take it too personal, Snowflake. What's going on, everybody? It's Kevin for one here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of a uh, mobile trash can. Um, uh, this, this one actually has four wheels, because why not? And it's the 2000 Chevy Silver Gato. Uh, so, yeah, let's go over this yuppified truck. This vehicle is from 2000 and must have been stuck on the assembly line. Typical. Because it doesn't have any body rust yet. So, let's snow fly around the air once. And that rocker panels, those... Get the fuck out of my way. The rocker panels, cab corners, wheel wells. It'll be nothing but hell. Um... But all jokes aside, this is a pretty detailed vehicle. This vehicle is also by D's Nuts, who's beta making the Ford Mod or whatever. Um, except this one's a finished product. It has two or three components. Um, they're pretty decent and cool. Uh, but other than that, I really haven't got to check it out. This is a gasser, because they can't afford a diesel. Um, but I will admit, at least they got those gay force wheels on there. They stayed stock. It looks like it got some nice AT tires on there, but they're put on backwards. But Chevy drivers are backwards to start with, so how, what, what the, you know, what would they know? Um, I'm not sure if those are white mirrors or if they're cr supposed to be chrome. Uh, the trim just kind of looks white, but I realistically have an idea that it's supposed to be a you know, chrome theme. Uh, this is an extended cab, sh short bed, I believe. But all Chevy drivers used to coming up short, so that's that they're long. Um, yeah, so across the back, it says junk and uh, the see-through lettering. Uh, some people might read that as Chev Rolet, uh, but no, it, you see that on the streets, it, it says junk. Um, you know, these ain't even custom plates. The DMV, they're throwing shade too. Uh, but realistically, it has the detail badging where it's supposed to be. Uh, I'm not... I don't remember ever seeing one that has like the Chevrolet to the right and Silverado to the left and then having the big logo on the back. Like I either seen the big logo or I seen those two little ones. Um Yeah, bed looks uh you know, nice and unused, but what would you expect from a yuppified truck? And to do this review I picked the most yuppie crybaby rich bitch. Michael. But you know, you you see where we're at. We're broke down. Suck my dick. Um, yeah, so I mean, this is a pretty detailed vehicle. I do like it. It has the body molding, the running boards, um, which is fine for the city because this thing ain't ever going off road. Uh, the Yee Yee Poser fucking tires, you know, buy some AT so my friends think I'm gonna drive in the yard. Um, the front, very detailed. Uh, you know, it's it's funny. Got the nice tow hooks already for the Ford. Yeah, I, I told you I was going to be throwing shade this whole video. Uh, shout out to the guy who requested the video right there. He requested I download this, and you guys can download it too by clicking show more in the description below. Um, I can't really go over the bag completely. Actually, yeah, I can. It's right here, the whole thing. Um, but realistically, I can't go over the bag because I'm not a Chevy person. I don't like them. Uh, my grandpa used to have this, and, you know, that was, he bought a Ford, and ever since then, he's been fucking mad pussy. Uh, but realistically, I know I'm just sneak dissing, not really sneaking, I'm just dissing. Um, holy shit. Well, tell me why it slid that hardcore. Uh, let's, I'm gonna show off the inside, because I don't know what it looks like. Probably a bunch of dildos under the hood, so the video gets censored that's why nothing new oh my god I knew it I fucking knew it alright that's the end of the review guys bye I'm just kidding um the inside I believe it's oh my god look at that firewall you have like a fucking hair of gas pedal brake pedal uh you know the seats look great the seat belt the center console looks nice, steering wheel. It's like an XL version, I'm guessing. Uh, 
you know, it's an automatic because manuals fucking suck. How many miles we got on here? Odometer doesn't work like everything else. Um, half tank of fuel because all I do is eat fuel. Truck's turned off, but yet the oil pressure is max high. Temperature barely above idle. And batteries on the verge of exploding. Over here you have... What the f... That's for rear windows that have... Get the fuck out of here. A lacy Chevy has a rear window uh, controller wiper. And up here is four-wheel drive switch, just like my friend's truck. You got your automatic, if you're too fucking stupid to know what modes to use. Your two high, and your four high, and your four low. Off to the left, you have uh, your headlight switch at your lights, park. Off down here, and uh, automatic. And the reason they put automatic in on Chevys is because apparently they're too fucking stupid to realize when to turn the headlights on. Um, get a fucking ass out of here. Uh, like the Ford, the tailgate drops down on this. It's it's real nice. It has the uh, whatever they're called, the cables that hold it up, and you know the doors detailed. All right, but realistically, the engine is uh, very detailed for that matter. Um, I like it, but honestly, I don't know if it's the right engine for it. It might be, but that Vortec cover seems like it's off of it. Newer vehicle than a literally year 2000. Um, but that's whatever. But I do love the detail for it. It's, it's a super nice feature. And, uh, this is, uh, the main reason... Ruin the fucking video. Now I'm gonna show you the reason why you don't, you know, use a Chevy for manly stuff like working or pulling trailers. This is, uh, pussy. This is why. I mean, look at that. Wheel going through the fender well. Back of it smashed up. What do you expect? This fucking dead weight can't even get off the ground. Make it look cinematic all you want. Piece of shit's a piece of shit. Coming at you live from the Chevrolet Proving Grounds, aka. Um, well, the Chevrolet Proving Grounds, where else would it be? It's a scrapyard. Filled with Chevy from day one to hopefully a few years from now when they shut down. Uh, so I'm going to show you the different components in this vehicle. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like them. Well, kind of. You got your hard top back, which is good for saving gas mileage and showing everybody you don't ever haul shit because you bought a Chevy and you can't because of, well, you know, earlier's clip. And here, I'll show you the other one. The, the other one's just a comical matchup. Go to our components menu. Uh, there's your clean, unused, and never will be used bed. Come on, bitch. And here you go. This toolbox. This is a good brand of toolboxes, guys. Better built, aka Ford Tough. Um, you know, this is a full-size man toolbox, and the reason they just look at it—it got like this diamond-grade material. It's nice and shiny. Um, it's pretty much a full size. It doesn't go down to the bottom, but. Who needs that when all you need is a gas, a cantaline, and a match to fix a fucking Chevy? Um, but yeah, this can hold, you know, all the tools that you'll need to work on this, which is a lot. So, yeah. And here we have a Chevy in its natural habitat. Side of the road, hazards of flicking, and the most realistic mod on this vehicle has to be the engine catching on fire. Notice how it stays in the engine bay. It doesn't go anywhere else like real life. Well, not yet. And, I mean, just look at the flame detail. This is the best part about this mod. It's so realistic. I mean, just look at the realism. If you haven't been on the road long enough to see this, well, thank your stars and stripes.
That's all I gotta say about this fucking mine, guys. So accurate. And see, it didn't completely burn it up. All it did was screw it up enough that the insurance won't fix it, and you gotta pay out of pocket. Junk. But realistically, guys, I think that these nuts, gay, okay, uh, did a great job on this mod. It's pretty detailed, <clears throat> as far as I can see. Uh, if you want to request mods like Bing, the guy up there did, then comment them below. We'll leave a link though, because you know you could say you want to see a 5,000 mile long train, and if it's not out there, it's not out there. So get a link, get a link to a mod you want me to review, and I'll do it. It doesn't matter if it's a uh, junk or Ford or Fummins. I will review it for you guys. I will go over, you know, the pros and cons and then throw some disses in there unless it's a Ford because there ain't nothing you can diss. But thanks for watching, guys. Everything Mining Glitchy Gaming. It's Kevin Phil in. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. The frame is bent. The muffler went. The radio, it's okay. Oh, what fun it is to drive this rusty Chevrolet.